National Educator. Welcome to this KCSE English Revision lesson. And in this lesson, we are going to explore composition writing. And I believe that by the end of the lesson, you will have gained enough insight that can help you tackle questions in examinations. So to begin with, we will look at the areas tested under composition writing. One of the areas is imaginative composition. Then we have another area called argumentative composition or argumentative essay. Under imaginative composition, you can have an essay beginning with some words, ending with some words, or you can be told to write a composition based on a proverb. Then under argumentative composition, you can be told to write an argument on an, a, a contemporary topic or a contentious topic. Issues like corruption, education, diseases, disasters, and so on. You can be told to give your opinion about them and come up with an argument about such topics. So, let us now narrow down to composition writing. What are the features of a good composition? One, a good composition must have a well-woven plot. As the writer, consider yourself an artist or like a weaver bird that is weaving a nest. You must begin by collecting all the requirements and then you assemble them in the correct manner for you to come up with a final product that is appealing and that is lovable by the name your composition. So the plot refers to the flow of events in the story following a sequence, cause and effect structure. So when something happens in your story, it must be caused by another thing. And you arrange these events within a period of time so that from the beginning to the end of the essay, some time will have elapsed. So this chronological flow of events is what we call a plot. A good composition should also have well-developed characters, well-developed characters. What do we mean by well-developed characters? A character can have moral flaws even if they are good characters. So even if someone is morally upright, you can bring some few moral flaws to this character to make them a round character. Your story should have uh, characters that appeal to morality and others that are evil. But at the end of the day, the ones that are virtuous should be victorious. You should not develop a story where vices prevail over virtues. It is virtues that should be preached in your essay. So that takes us to the third feature of a good composition. It should talk about a contemporary or a contentious theme. So even if it is just an imaginative composition, what are you passing? Which message are you passing to your audience? There must be an issue you are trying to tackle. For instance, corruption. So if your composition is about a corrupt individual, does this person succeed with corruption at the end? If yes, then your story is vicious. If no, then your story is virtuous and you should write virtuous stories, stories that incline towards virtues 
and stories that try to evade vices.